Hi guys, this is Robin with Weight Loss Apocalypse. Um, this clip that I'm sharing with you today is from a session I did two years ago. So the entire session um, is in the link below. I actually posted this a couple years ago. And the reason why I'm reposting it is because it is so relevant to the um, to the recovery process. Um, in this session, this client and I are talking about um, our identity and how we create a sense of ourselves in relation to our cultural ideology and specific to body image and how we relate to our body and how it is integrated into our perceived identity and, and how difficult it is and scary it is to, when we surrender body image that it feels like for many of us, I don't know um, about you, but I know for me, uh, my entire sense of worth as a human being was revolved around um, my body. Um, in part because I was um, surrendering and leaving um, a, another aspect of how I identified myself through religion. So as I failed that, I was seeking some sense of success in something different, and I put all of my eggs in one basket, which was body image. And ultimately, for me to recover from the um, torture and hell and darkness and isolation and the slavery to starving, micromanaging my food, constantly worrying about food, um, binging on food, having to purge, uh, fix it, all of that, my whole entire, if I wanted freedom, that I had to either end the life I was living in, or I had to completely redefine the current life I was in. So this session is so good. It, um, I was in the zone in this session and, um, I'm writing about this right now and it's actually very hard to put into word because there's so much that goes into what body image is and how we um, how we interpret who we are through the lens of body image, especially when the lens you're using was given to you by a program in society, specifically thin supremacy. So on a side note, um, this was recorded like right after, I don't know if you guys have followed me this long, but a couple years ago I shaved the sides of my head right here and it looks super freaking fierce. Um, and I wanted y'all to know that I'm finally growing, I'm trying to grow it out about uh, this past January and I really liked this um, kind of a way to play with my hair. But I realized, okay, this is going to be really fugly growing out. And so I wanted to give you the update on my hair growing out from the shaved sides. And it is pretty bad. Check it out. Now, I'm actually past, this is so much better. When it was like half this length, it went out like this. <laughs> I know I look like I could be, if I had a white wig on, you know, Washington, you know, from that era. But anyways, that's what it looks like, ladies, or those of you who are wanting to shave your head and then grow it out. It's really, it's really amazing. Anyways, I feel like junior high hair is what it feels like. So going through a stage, it's actually long enough to put behind my ears. So anyways, um, so the entire session is below. If you want to work with me, there's a link to my website. Fill in the request form. I'll get back to you within probably the hour. So, all right. Enjoy this session. Oh, no. And, and one of the things that, that, I, that I love about this process right now is, uh, it, 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 you know, I mean, it really is like that. Making that mental shift can, is it is it, it, instantaneous and not believing in in the thin supremacy that's instantaneous and it cuts off suffering immediately um, it doesn't it you know, I know as soon as you do that though but you've what you've recognized is that and that you're saying this because you've been waffling for the last two weeks we've been talking about this since our first consult and you've been like 
gradually opening your mind to look at this and you get are now getting a sense that once you make this decision your issues are over yeah right because all of a sudden when you accept the body as it is in any state and you allow it to be a body so that you can have the freedom to be a heart all of a sudden what happens to these issues around food oh yeah because it no longer serves that that purpose no and you're not being deprived you're not being mm -hmm. you know it's not being taken from you. The food that you would have binged on, you can have at any time, so it doesn't matter. You don't have the shame about eating food anymore because you don't have shame about your body image. So it doesn't project onto your food. The 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 food issues, the majority of the I will I will end with this. The obesity epidemic is actually a dieting epidemic. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. All of us humans out here who are fighting obesity are actually fighting dieting. That's what it is. It's this restriction around food, and it's, an, it's, it's a body image epidemic. People feeling really bad about their bodies. I mean, you could go, you could see your body on a sliding scale, and you'll say, I've always felt bad. Always. It doesn't matter how thin I get, I still feel shitty about it. Even if I pretend that I'm superior and I've reached some level of, like, supremacy, you still feel bad about it because you're afraid it's gonna go away because it's a lie it's fake it's not real it's like this outer shell trying to prove that you have worth with nothing inside of it there's not even a heart because you don't give that life right so if you decide I am no longer identified by thin supremacy or fat inferiority and I just get to have this body and it works for me and my needs are just life you can totally re-identify yourself and the coolest part about it is you can use your wisdom to re-identify yourself it's not like you're still 12 years old and now have to prove yourself through i'm the smartest on the class or i have the most amount of money you're not going to go into those superficial bullshit cultural crap because you see it for what it is in your adulthood right you're just going to be yourself Whatever that is, there doesn't you don't even need a definition of what that is. Are you getting that as well? That you don't have to have a bullet point list of who you are. The yeah. bullet point list of who you are is a sign of of someone who doesn't who needs a facade. It's like I want to play a character. If I don't have a character to act, I don't know who I am. Well, that's okay. You're going to have to develop a sense of whatever that is. Right? Right. So that's where we where we're kind of at. That's the there's a death and then there's a birth. And you've got to just decide that when you rebirth yourself here without the body image identity that has made your sense of self so weak. That's real. That you're going to have to start with whatever weakness is there. I felt nothing. So I said, Well, I know I'm kind. That's the closest thing I've got. I know that I have a good heart, I have good integrity. That's all I have. And I don't even know if that's real, but I'm going to go with it, right? That's where that's the next step, honey. It's okay. So we that's where we left off with our last session. And to close, tell us how you've done since two days ago. Well, I'm happier in general, and that's that's the thing for me. I mean, it's it's like I'll take it. you know, it, for me now, it's like how can I find joy, you know, in this day. And not, I don't expect to be ecstatic all the time, but to be looking at life through the lens of, like, what feels good in this moment? Like, what am I drawn to in this moment? Um, and going with that. And then that, you know, I mean, so food is a part of that, but it's just a part of that, like it should be, you know? Yes. So it's just a part of life. And then mm -hmm. it's like, you know, like, what, what do I intuit, what do I intuitively feel drawn to? right now in all aspects of life and, and to tell the truth about it more joy, joy and the that. key is to tell the truth about it right I said that again it, the key is to tell the truth about it I remember yeah. this feeling so clearly it's like I've always had that feeling but I didn't want to look at that I was too afraid of that feeling of what I wanted because I knew it wasn't mm -hmm. good enough right. so it's always been there this integrity has always been there I knew it had always been there but it was I, why I use that it, it's got to be ignored that's a you got to ignore that right ignore your heart right. 
because it's not good enough. Someone's going to make fun of it. You're going to get rejected. Your, yeah. your family's not going to love you if you use that. I mean, there's so much fear involved with that heart. It's like you got to, first of all, look at it, acknowledge it, and then use it. That's like telling the truth. Exactly, and and it's simple, and like you said, it's not a it's not a list of bullet points. It's 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 simple and it's natural. Somebody in in one of your videos talked about, well, I'm afraid. Like, what do I have to do if I stop relying on food? You know, and it's like it doesn't need to be like this whole other program. It doesn't have to be this whole. You don't have to project yourself into another way a way of being. It's just being. You know, it's just it's, it's just really natural. Yeah, and you, and, um, yeah, I, I love, I love what we're talking about here. Okay, so I'm going to stop recording. Is there anything else that you want to say? No, enough for now. Thank you. All right. Thanks for sharing.